the rosary of life. Indeed, the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy, but the Lord Jesus, the Good Shepherd, comes to give us life in abundance. Hello, I'm Father Will Combs, and I invite you to pray with me, pray with, with, invite many people to come and pray with us this rosary of life. Indeed, before us is life and death, good and evil, truth and lies. We all have to choose. May we choose wisely. It's Jesus who comes to separate good from evil. That's the gift of his, his death and resurrection, to put to death all that is evil, that we may rise with him to all that is good. God is good all the time, and he calls us to, to his culture, his culture of life. It was St. John Paul II who called us, who called us to, to uh, indeed be soldiers of the culture of life, that there are no spectators. We're all participating in this big battle. And so we are called. What does this mean? What must we do? In Pentecost, we hear these two questions and the response is repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of sins and you shall receive the Holy Spirit. So the rosary of life is a rosary of repentance. It's a rosary of calling down the Holy Spirit. In each mystery, the first half, our Father, five Hail Marys, is praying for the culture of life. In the second half, the last five Hail Marys in glory be, is repenting, renouncing the culture of death. 20 mysteries, you can imagine, it's a great opportunity to, to strengthen, form our conscience, to separate good from evil, the way of life versus the way of death. And as intercessors, we're called to pray for those who are not praying, to intercede for those who are not interceding, repent for those who are not repent, and repenting, and, and forgive those who are not forgiving. And we are called to stand in the gap and to overcome the flesh, the world, and the devil. We have the joyful, luminous, and sorrowful mysteries leading up to the glorious mysteries, this final battle between heaven and hell. And each of us have a part to play. There are no spectators. We're all participants. It's Our Lady who's raising up her army of intercessors. Now is the time to pray. So I thank you. I thank you for listening to me and joining, joining me and, and the whole church and joining Our Lady in prayer, that God's kingdom come and his will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So may God abundantly bless you as we pray together in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.